In this video, I'm going to show you a simple five-man pressure that you can use that is very consistent against Gun Bunch with Max Protect or without Max Protect. It's one of my favorite five-man pressures in the game. And it comes to us out of the Nickel Triple Formation. Now, the Nickel Triple is one of my favorite defenses for a lot of different reasons. One of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's a very balanced defense. You can play... Um, you can play very effective run defense. You can also play very effective pass defense. And I believe that the cover two sink, like the soft squats and the vertical hook zones are the two best underneath zones in the entire game. And so when you can combine that with a really good blitz, it can make for a really, really good defense. That's why you see a lot of people uh, right now running the Dime 146, uh, DB Sticky 2 Buzz, or Cover 2 Sync, or the Dime 236 Will with the DB Fire 2 or the Dollar. That's kind of where that meta comes from or that concept. So we're going to basically recreate the same deal out of the Nickel Triple. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I have a full Nickel Triple defensive guide out. I'm going to put a link to that in the description uh, of this video. You can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to uh, press coverage, and then we're going to take our user. We're going to stand kind of right here in this gap, and we're going to QB contain. And what you'll see is we're going to get really fast pressure off of the right edge. As you can see right there, we're getting really, really fast pressure at the quarterback. Now, the first thing that they're going to do uh, as far as picking this pressure up goes, and you do have to be a little bit tricky or a little bit um, strategic with your user if you want this to, to work perfectly every time. Uh, basically what that means is you want to get kind of right in between the guard and the center, and then at the snap you want to come down and then just kind of jet out. And as you'll see, a lot of times I'll get that B-gap pressure that you just saw um, right there. That's definitely not uncommon. If you shift your line to the left, um, you'll see that it creates kind of this pinched, look i'm not saying that's better or worse but it just kind of makes that gap pressure more consistent so if they block their running back on this normally the contain logic is enough to deal with a blocked running back so i'll show you what that looks like so i'm going to block my running back here and as you'll see we're going to get this contain logic coming around that's how it didn't quite come in but again i really like this concept now you can also show blitz um, if you want to if you want to create a look like this this is pretty good for crossers because that deep half will do a pretty decent job. Again, you just want to come down enough so that you can attract the defense or the, the guard in the center to, guard, to, to try to block you. And if you can accomplish that, that makes this blitz very, very consistent. So as you see here, I'm going to manually move that guy down just a little bit more. And then again, I'm going to stand right here, come down. And as you see, we're going to absolutely scream off the edge. Now, what do you do whenever they start to block their running back? Well, what I like to do is instead of lurking down into the right, I'm going to go down into the left. So essentially you're going to see it's going to look like this, and that will basically dumb out the running back, as you can see right there. So uh, let's jump into this replay kind of break down exactly what you just saw. So what I did with my user was I saw the running back was blocking. So I went down and toward the running back side, and as you can see, it really dumbs out the running back, and it allows you to be able to get really good pressure with them just blocking the running back, which is one of the things I really like uh, about this defense. Now, again, you know, bring this guy down if you're going to show blitz. just helps it a little bit. And then, again, you want to kind of be over the guard. That's really the secret sauce, I think, of a lot. Now, if they delay for their tight end, that's going to be a little bit more successful um, a lot of times. But most of the time, that contain rush angle will typically be able to get over or to get around the delay fade. Uh, normally, what you have to do if they delay fade, that's where you want to kind of really pull the, with your user. I will say the delay fade, in my opinion, is the best way that they can pick this pressure up. But that's where, again, you really are trying to um, manipulate that offensive line with your user. So let me show you this here. And we're going to stand, we're going to get down and, you know, kind of get over that guard ideally and try to pull the guard in the center. And if we can pull them, there you see we still get that B gap rush angle from the defensive end. So when they go to max protect, uh, what you're going to do is basically the same concept. You're going to go down to the left and then kind of swerve around. So you go down to the left, kind of swerve around, and as you can see, the contain angle really does a good job when they max protect. It's one of my favorite uh, ways to use this blitz is when they start to max protect because they can't really – they're, they're going to pick it up sometimes, but most of the time you're going to get that right there, as you can see. As long as I don't go down and to the right at the snap of the ball, I just let this thing be what it's going to be. And you can use her this guy as well. I, I don't think it's as consistent if I use her him, but let me just show you real quick. I can use her this guy as well. And as you see, the pressure, the five men definitely still works, 
the seven or the um, the five man against max protect. Let me show you what happens here. So I'm just gonna literally just hold left trigger, kind of pull this around, and you see it's really really good pressure. It really is. So you can use either one of these guys. So if you want to have a vertical hook like over in this area of the field, my recommendation would be to go ahead and show blitz. I would grab this guy and just run him off just a little bit more and then use her on here. And now if you get, you know, something like this, oftentimes this will come in pretty, pretty fast, um, even, uh, even against a max protect situation from Bunch. So this is one of my favorite defenses for Bunch uh, because of that reason. And again, if you're going to use her, this guy, you just have to make sure that you stay over on this side of the field long enough for the pressure to get through. So kind of like that right there. And then as you see there, the contain, the contain kind of dumbed out there, but as you see, the, the concept is actually relatively effective in my opinion, specifically against Max Protect. This is gonna increase the ability for you to send five and get pressure. So again, just come down to the left and you see, I mean, it just absolutely screams at Gun Bunch. So this is one of my favorite blitzes in the game. You can also counter this. So let's say they start to block their tight end a lot and that becomes kind of what they're gonna do. What I like to do with that is I'll then put that, that soft squat zone there, or uh, I'll put the corner on the right in a vertical hook, and then I'll stand kind of right here and I'll blitz the safety on the backside. And then normally what I'll do then is I'll man up. I'll play man lock coverage on that side in case that receiver goes out on a route. But basically I know I don't have a soft squat over there, right? So I can just do this. This is kind of assuming, you know, and now you're gonna send pressure this way and you see that it's really, really effective. And the left side pressure might even be better, um, in my opinion, against like a delay fade. If they're delay fading a lot and that's kind of their primary means of picking up pressure, then you can go to something like this and as you can see here, you know, we can really blink at the field. So anyways, the nickel triple is a lot of fun. I think it's a lot better than people realize. It's all about finding the right places to stand, the right time to send pressure. But if you can master some of these blitzes that we teach you in our nickel triple ebook, I think you're going to find that it's probably one of the most balanced defenses in the entire game. And it will give you significant success against a lot of the meta offenses that you're going to be facing. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to learn my entire nickel triple defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks.